What is up guys, welcome back to another debate episode on EI Entertainment Studios. Without further ado, let's begin. Before we start, I'm using a different filter this time. Let me know, let me know if you guys like it. I'm using the old, like the old colorless film filter on the game. I've been usually using the regular filter, but for this time, I thought I'd try something new, so, hmm. I don't know, let me, let me know if you guys like it. But anyways guys, today's debate video is going to be based between Shin Godzilla versus Shin Muto Gaigen. So, so the, if you guys don't know the procedure of the debate videos, what we're gonna do is we'll, di like, we'll dig deep into Shin Muto Gaigen, the backstory, pretty much like the origins, the height, the abilities, you know, pretty much the characteristics of the kaiju slash monster and then we'll we'll go over a little bit about Shin Godzilla and then we'll head into the main fight we'll talk about the scenarios and then we'll make the final judgment if these two monsters were to actually clash who would be the winner so let's begin so what I'll do first is I will go over the backstory of Shin Muto Gaigen so Shin Muto Gaigen uh, was created when the two monsters, Gigan and Muto, unite to create a hybrid to battle and possibly defeat Shin Godzilla. And after the hybridization, there is a creature that is now created called Gigan Muto. You've noticed it's not Shin Gigan Muto yet, not just yet. Gigan Muto is born. And the aliens that control Gigan inject Shin Godzilla DNA into Gigan Muto to make it into what we know today, Shin Gigan Muto. Or Shin Muto Gigan. Uh, excuse me, yeah. Shin Muto Gigan. Anyways, the height of this creature is 222 meters tall. Uh, abilities. So abilities. What well, what I'll do is I'll go. I'll briefly go over the abilities right now, and then after we finish all the characteristics, we'll come back and like I'll specifically deeply um, explain each ability by itself, and so we can dig deep into that. So abilities. I'll just go over right now really quickly. Eye lasers, EMP chest saw, radioactive EMP flying ability and split kaiju ability aggression it is aggressive not highly aggressive and not not aggressive it's just regularly aggressive territorial yes and the biome of this creature is space and earth and we'll go over that more later on so now that we went over the main characteristics of shin muto gaigen let's go ahead and dig deep now into the abilities now the first one is pretty self-explanatory eye lasers it has lasers from the eyes right just regular is the shin emphasis you know so and it's pretty much a regular Gigan thing too anyway so so shin and muto Gigan can shoot uh, lasers from its eyes now emp chest saw this is something new so pretty much you know where the the the, cha the saw in the middle of the chest now not only is it a saw but it also produces EMP now if you don't know what EMP is pretty much EMP what it does is it disables all electronics and working material within a limited amount of time and this could be very very useful to Shin Yuro Gaigen. next he has now this is a little different this is more fantasy related and this is different so radioactive EMP now this can be used very efficiently against Shin Godzilla radioactive EMP pretty much is Shin Muro Gaigen can actually use EMP which is focused to turn off any radioactive material for a limited amount of time we know Shin Godzilla is actually powered off of radioactivity so that is an interesting ability. We'll get into that once we get into the final battle. Uh, right, okay, flying ability. He can fly, nothing too crazy. He can fly. 
And then this one is actually a very unique ability. This is the split kaiju ability. Pretty much, as we all know, this is a hybrid between Gigan and Muto. And then with the injected DNA of Shin Godzilla. But even though he is a hybrid, he has the ability to split back into their two original forms. So Shin, Muto, Gigan it can actually split into a regular Gigan and a regular Muto if it would want to. I don't see a reason why, but if it's necessary, it can. So Shin Godzilla technically can also be battling two Kaijus at the same time. And now we went over we went over everything. Yes. So we pretty much know, but just a quick quick just to overview again before we head into Shin Godzilla, we'll go over the abilities of Sh not the abilities, but like the basic stuff of Shin Muto Gaigen. He's aggressive, he's territorial. Uh, biome is space and earth. Uh, I'll just go, actually, I'll just say the abilities one more time. Eye lasers, EMP chest saw, radioactive EMP, flying ability, split kaiju ability. I'm not sure if I said the height again. I'll just say 220 meters tall. Okay, now we have Shin Muto Gaigen out of the way. We'll put him to hold for a few seconds. Let's go to Shin Godzilla, the king of the monsters. Now what I'll do with Shin Godzilla, I'll just go over the, the monster itself, we'll get familiar with it if, if you aren't not so already, and then we will just jump into the final battle. Alright, sounds good. So Shin Godzilla is, to this day, the biggest Godzilla to date. I do not consider the anime Godzilla even a real Godzilla. I'm sorry, I just don't. It's not live action, and the anime has just been a failure from Toho. So, the anime is not considered... So, Godzilla Earth... Like, I'm not, I'm not trying to get hate from anybody, but Godzilla Earth is an anime, it's not live action. I don't consider it. Shin Godzilla is the biggest and strongest Godzilla to this date, standing at approximately 118.6 meters tall. Um, so, we'll go over the abilities. So Shin Godzilla has very, very unique abilities. He has, obviously, atomic breath, atomic lasers. So, also, he has atomic lasers from the back. So, pretty much in between his dorsal plates, he can shoot atomic lasers. Also, atomic lasers from the tip of the tail. He has the ability to regenerate health very quickly and the more interesting ability is that he can evolve years and years like for example 60 or not even 60 like a few hundred years of evolution within seconds so that is incredibly incredibly useful to Shin Godzilla both in battle with humans or in this case Kaiju now also, after that, he also ha he is actually, excuse me, he is also the most genetically advanced creature on Earth. As I said, he can evolve, so that, that I just I kind of said opposite order, but it's fine. And then, the most interesting thing that Shin Godzilla has is he can recreate anything he sees genetically so for example so I'll actually yeah I'll, I'll also give an example for the evolving but we'll go over with um, the the thing um, oh my gosh I had a brain fart right there what am I doing so we'll go over how he can um, fight with it so pretty much in the movie we saw Shin Godzilla recreate humans, right? Now, when he recreated, he, well, excuse me, let me let me go, let me be more explanatory on that. This is a huge spoiler, by the way. So he created humanoids that were representing humans, but in, in Godzilla form on the tip of his tail, because he is trying to mimic what he is seeing in his body format so he was seeing humans so in this case he could see anything else it could be this monster that he's fighting and recreate what he's seeing also for another example of 
um, regeneration, no, not regeneration, um, evolving, um, he can evolve years and years because it takes lots of time for animals to evolve into legs, or well, into legs, to evolve to having legs or anything in general. And Shin Godzilla did it very, very quickly. And he evolved dorsal plates to, well, the ability for dorsal plates to maintain heat and then to cool down it's it's interesting it's very interesting but to go more deeply into that we're gonna have to make a separate video for Shin Godzilla but we know the basics fundamentals of Shin Godzilla so with that being said let's head into the battle of Shin Godzilla versus Shin Muro Gaigen now, we're going to have to go based on two different scores. One score is going to be based upon far range battles and then the close range battles. So, far range, let's begin. So, scenario Shin Godzilla is standing, I don't know, let's say like 200 meters away from Shin Muro Gaigen. Now, Shin Muro Gaigen is obviously going to be flying at this point if they're that far, so he will be in the air. Now, he can use many, many abilities. Now, the regular EMP chest saw from a far distance is not really anything that sh can even be used against Shin Godzilla. Because Shin Godzilla is not a... You know, he doesn't need the e regular EMP. He doesn't even use anything in sort of EMP that it targets, so that's nothing to be considered. But the radioactive EMP can be very, very useful for Shin Miro Gaigen. If he does indeed decide to use a radioactive EMP against Shin Godzilla, then I think he can shut off every atomic laser, every atomic breath that Shin Godzilla poses against him, possibly shutting Shin Godzilla down to its core right and this I also have an opposition to this but we're gonna talk about this when we get to the close range battle and that's enough in, in very shortly but for the far range I'm gonna have to give it to Shin Muro Gaigen just because he uh, he can shut down really quick it's a quick fight he can shut down the all the atomic breaths and lasers and possibly take down Shin Godzilla from afar distance point of battle but if we head into close range more a more focused battle right so a more focused battle would lead into Shin Godzilla and Shin Muro Gaiken going face to face that is a different scenario now yes Shin Muro Gaiken has the ability to shut down radioactive anything radioactive and Shin Godzilla is pretty much powered by radioactivity but, but, what did I say about Shin Godzilla? Shin Godzilla can actually evolve years of evolution within seconds. So that means he is possibly, just possibly, able to evolve into a way to, to resist that EMP and not to affect, pretty much, like, let's say, evolve into a shield that stops that EMP, right? And it's very, very possible, and to consider that he does, because he does possess the ability to, so let's say he does. So let's take that EMP uh, radioactivity out of the case. Shin Muto Gaigen can split into Gaigen and Muto. Now, Gaigen... Okay, let's go with Muto. Muto, if Godzilla 2014 could destroy Muto, Shin Godzilla is much more bigger than 2014, much more smarter, and much more, much more abilities than what 2014 possesses. So he can take down Muto without anything. Now, if we're gonna fight Gigan. This is going to be a altered Gigan to fit the ability to find Shin Godzilla because I believe Gigan, please correct me if I'm wrong, but the regular Gigan is only 50 meters tall. I'm not exactly sure though, but we're going to change this guy up to 100 meters. Uh, it's a more evolved new Gigan, 100 meters tall. Now again, it is still smaller than Shin Godzilla, but it is pretty fair. 
right 18.6 meters is a little bit is a little advantage but not too big anyways now he's gonna have to fight two monsters at the same time Shin Godzilla will be able to take on them both without any hesitation he could use his atomic breath from the front from the back and from his tail so he's, he's pretty much guarded so how is Shin Gigan Muto able to defeat Shin Godzilla? Well, what is the point of these aliens in putting the DNA of Shin Godzilla? What is what is there that Shin Muto Gaiken can also possess? And that is evolution as well. Shin Muto Gaiken can possess evolution. So it is possible of what Shin, Shin Godzilla um, develops into stopping that um, radioactive EMP, Shin Muto Gaiken can find a way to break that with his evolution because he still has the evolutionary power that Shin Godzilla possesses. So I think that since it's two kaijus with the Shin emphasis of the DNA, the winner of this fight will be Shin Muto Gaigen. But you can oppose my judgment. Please, if you do, leave in the comment section below your argument if you think it's a different outcome. I'll be uh, That's actually really cool. I'll be more than happy to have a debate with you about that. And also, most importantly, any other requests based on this, leave in the comment section below and we will go over it. This one is actually a fan request, and there will be more. Just leave in the comment section below, and I will check, take a look at it. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you guys enjoyed it, but most importantly, guys, leave requests. And if you have a different outcome, go ahead and leave in the comment section below. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, and as always, have a great day.